Boys and girls, we now have developer notes for Weathering Waves version 1.1. And I gotta tell you, from what I've seen, like from some of the people out like in the Twitter space and everything like that, it seems like a lot of the stuff is really, really good. We're gonna be talking about all this because there is a lot of good stuff from what I'm hearing. So very excited to get into this because I've been very excited for version 1.1. I need version 1.1 to come out. I need a live stream for version 1.1 so I could get super freaking hype. That probably won't happen, but we'll we'll find out soon. But anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to just talk about version 1.1's developer notes and see what exactly all the hubbub is. So before we get into that, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell to be notified when the next Weathering Waves video comes out. And of course, leave a comment about what you think about the 1.1 stuff. And don't forget to check out Gamer Subs. Use code Tystra for 10% off. Today, I have carbonated some Grenader Great. So I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty good right now. Mm. Pretty dang good. I do the carbonation as an extra thing. But let's go ahead and dive into this uh, whole rigmarole, you know? uh dear rover that's me <laughs> uh to give you a sneak peek into what we have in store for you in future updates we'll share the latest adjustments we're making to the game via developers messages before each new version's launch we also use these messages to address common issues in the current version to share details on related optimizations and adjustments see i already like that the fact that they're actually like talking about it in the broad spectrum, it's like they're not only going over the version, but they're going over some of the adjustments. Now, if they go over banners and stuff like that, then I'll be like, okay, they're probably going to do this instead of a live stream. But who knows? They still might do a live stream. I, I hope they do. Whether it was version 1.1, Thaw of Aeons or Eons. Yeah, it's Eons, not Aeons. I'm dumb. Uh, Eons is right around the corner. Here's what to expect in the new version. New tuner synthesis feature. So we're getting the ability to actually like synthesize our purple tuners into the yellow tuners that's all right okay that's already a big plus right there that's like an amazing adjustment right there the fact that we'll be able to have like oh my god okay so for those who don't know these tuners are used for echoes in the sense of getting substats so instead of running through a let's say Let's just do the direct comparison because we know it's there. Instead of being like Genshin, right? Where you go in, you do a uh, artifact domain, you get your artifacts, but they roll whatever, right? You know, you actually don't have to go through that. You don't have to go to a domain to get your echo, but you can. But instead of getting your substats right then and there, you use these tuners to actually get your substats depending on what type of uh, uh, echo you're tuning. So if you're tuning a purple echo, you would use the purple uh, quality uh, tuners. But a lot of us are already to the point of premium tuners or needing premium tuners. So now all of our purples can be turned into premium tuners, which are the gold or yellow or however you want to say it. So that's already a huge win. That's such a huge win as it is. Great job, Goro Games. Now, let's go ahead and continue. Increase Union XP or EXP reward for unlocking new Echo entrants. Uh, to the leveling experience and unlock late game content earlier for all players, we have introduced Union EXP reward for unlocking new entries of Echoes as a... Okay. So, I Union EXP is your basic, like, leveling system. So, most players right now are between union ranks of 40 to 45 most of us are uh some are higher but yeah that's a, that so we're getting a we're getting actual union xp um from echo entries that's pretty sick okay additionally we will re uh retrospectively reward the union xp for the number of echo entries you have unlocked during 1.0 after the upgrade the compensation will be distributed via in-game mail make sure to check your mail to claim the rewards in time all right so that's already a plus because I'll, like i've already got all my echoes like farmed like not in the sense of like you know for each character but i already have all the echoes farmed to their uh five star variant or gold variant so i'm gonna get all the xp that i should that i that anybody would be getting from 1.1 onward so that's that's a plus good job coral games then we got higher cost range for echoes rewarded for activity points 
We've heard your feedback about high vari variability in the cost range of echoes rewarded by gaining required activity points in the guidebook. To improve your experience, we have removed cost one echoes from the activity points reward pool. Now only cost threes and cost four echoes will be rewarded as the activity points. Really? I didn't know that cost fours could actually come from the guidebook. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so what they're saying is when you would do your daily to get your uh, 100 uh, points in the guidebook, you would get a free echo, but it would be from cost one to cut. I thought it was cost three, but I guess cost fours were there too. Um, but yeah, now it's cost threes and cost fours only. There's no cost ones, which I think is a good move because cost ones are so common uh, in general in regards to the overworld. There are so many cost one enemies out there, uh, especially if you're farming echo. So, dude solid so more than solid these are great updates already what kuro games you spoil me data bank level cap increased after after version 1.1 update the level cap of the data bank will be raised to 21 after reaching 21 all echoes drop will be will be guaranteed five star rarity kuro games this wow okay so what does that mean well right now if you get to 20 it's not guaranteed that you're gonna get a five star variant of these echoes right you could still get a four star variant and it is one of the most soul crushing things out there because you could be farming for days now your farming just got a little bit easier once you hit 21 which means that you have every single echo at five star rarity you you don't have to worry about what your echo is going to be. It's always going to be a five star. You just have to worry about your main stat. And then, of course, the substats later with the tuners. But they already kind of helped you out with that, with the whole tuning thing. Bro, current games literally just like made a massive fix to echoes to make it so people will want to continue to play their game. Bravo, girl games. Uh, new fun in Mount Fer uh, Firma Firmament Echo Transformation. Get ready for some fun. In select areas of Mount Firmament, you can transform into Echo Clang Bang to explore the area. Stay tuned for more creative Echo puzzle. Okay. All right. That's cool. So we'll actually be able to turn into this Echo, which I'm guessing is a brand new Echo that we're going to be farming up, right? Um, my guess is it's going to be part of the Glacio side of things. So who knows? But yeah, I mean, that I think that confirms basically that we're getting a new uh, Echo to farm up. So that's cool. I dig it. I absolutely dig it. Great job, Kuro. Uh, other optimizations. Remove tacit field reward collection anime. You may now direct or collect the reward directly. That's... Thank God, bro. That was probably like my biggest complaint so far with, you know, weathering waves is when I would do tacit fields, it would stop and then it'd do this whole like zoom up and like look over and then you'd see the, you know, a little splash kind of. But that's it. And it was just, it was annoying to see, especially when you're trying to farm it multiple times. Now in 1.1, not going to be a thing. Awesome. Lowered shell credit cost for echo leveling. Thank you. Shell credits. We need to save those, especially when we're leveling up our characters. Uh, simplified the cruise wing challenge. We have slowed down the flying speed of cruise wing and extended the time limit to make the challenge more manageable. Honestly, I think that's just a skill issue. Because I've had times where I've had trouble with it, but I go back and play it and I do it again. I think to me, I think that people if people were actually complaining about the, you know, oh, it's it goes way too fast. There is a way to slow down your cruise wing. Come on now. You're just not paying attention. Um, to me, I think that that's whatever. I don't think that's a big win, but I guess to people who have a skill issue. Yeah, probably. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you had that problem. I feel I, I would I would feel bad if my viewers are like, Taster, that's the wrong opinion you should be having there. But at the same time, I'm like, I I don't get it. I I I like a challenge. I like that it's fast and be like, okay, now I gotta be better at this. So I don't know. Uh events and other rewards. New depths of elusive realm content, dreams of blades and darkness with raised event rewards. Okay. In 1.1, we will be introducing a new Depths of Elusive Realm event called Dreams of Blaze and Darkness, along with new mechanics such as tokens, symp uh, symphony rank, and different uh, mimetic tuning available for you to create your own powerful build. Furthermore, the event, the total event rewards will be increased to 1,000 asteroids. 
I see you. <laughs> I, I see you, Kuro Games. I see what you're doing there. I think that's a direct uh, direct influence from the whole event uh, endgame stuff that Genshin talked about where now they're increasing it to 800. So I think that's direct. Good job. New explorable event, Mount Firmament uh, area events. To help everyone better experience the new Mount Firmament area, we prepared two exclusive area events for you. The area exploration event, Tales from Mount uh, Firmament, and the photo collection event, uh, excuse me, Traces of Mount Firmament. Complete these events to earn up to 800 Asterite, premium resonance potions, premium sealed tubes, and more. I dig it. Uh, increased convene item version exchange limit huh you may redeem up to seven e okay <laughs> that that took me a second to process okay so increased convene item version exchange limit in the item exchange oscillated coral store now what what is the oscillated core it's basically the one where like every month like that store is every month that you could buy five of each of the summonable uh convenes and stuff now you get seven which is absolutely bonkers that is in total 20 free summons from the shop or sorry 21 21 not free but it's from your summons right like, you get that from summoning and stuff like that uh 21 free of those not free but you get what i mean that's insane that's that's such a bit that's such a good increase it's an increase of six in total but that's still really good. Preview of the other special events. Besides the optimization and tweaks mentioned above, version 1.1 is also bringing a bunch of other cool events your way. Seven day login event, Gifts of Celestial Light. Cool. The feature commission event, Lalo campaign. The featured combat event, Tactical Simulacra. The leveling material double drop event. Okay. And the e echo double drop event cord cleansing and so on stay tuned for the official announcements for more event details uh we also got stuff for the new map that's coming out it's gonna be a layered map which is the only thing that kind of bothers me but it is what it is um but i don't know if there is so let's see uh you could switch between different layers of the map for more detailed exploration due to the volume of work involved in creating a layered map for all areas the layered map for other areas and uh okay so those will be released in later updates. I think that's good because again, if you're trying to farm like chests and stuff, it would be a lot easier for you to see the layered part of the map and how to get to that next layer. So uh, new quest or new area quest progression. Hmm. I just woke up a little bit ago. So I'm trying to like, you know, wake up, get my gamer steps on, you know, this might be longer than I expected because there was a lot to this. Uh, new area quest progress after the version 1.1 update you will be able to track your progress on exploration quest for the current area via the map wow okay so we can actually see all the quests in a certain dude that is gonna make things so much easier for you to know if you actually explored an area fully i current games is just hidden with these wins bro this is like an amazing update holy crap expanded detection range of the loop what to make it easier for players to track and find undiscovered supply chests nearby on the map we will expand the detection range of loop mapper after the version 1.1 update you could use to deploy the loop mapper oh my god so it's gonna get a bigger range bro yes thank you i'm missing like there okay so i'm in one certain area the the wuming bay and I'm trying to 100% it, and I'm at 92% of the supply chest, and I can't freaking find the last of the chest. Actually, it's 95%, 95%. But I can't find the last, like, two or three, and it's annoying, and I'm going around the map. Now, if they would just, in their map, like, in their interactive map, they split this section so you know, like, okay, which section is actually this and stuff. If they did that, they would already have a 1,000% support in regards to like a uh, genshin would never do that hint hint wink wink nudge nudge kuro games um quest and gallery system new resonator gallery feature in the version 1.1 update you can check all the resonators you have unlocked and their unlock time in the gallery crossing stars all right i dig it 
new story dialogue gallery feature so you can look at the dialogue for the story uh level requirements lo lowered for some main quests to unlock the late game content early for all players we will lower the level requirements for some main stories after the version 1.1 update the requirement to unlock main quest chapter one act four uh will be lowered to union level 14 from 14 to 11 and the main change in act 5 and act 6 will become available once the preceding chapter quests are completed so you really just need to play the game just a little bit to get to level 11 so you'll be able to experience everything and i think that's actually really really good uh more number and types of guidebook activity points quests okay so they're actually going to recycle more or make more of the guidebook quests to get you activity points and i think that's good too um new combat style tags with the version 1.1 update you were introducing combat style tags to categorize the battle mechanics of different resonators we hope that this will help you better understand each resonator's core combat type okay so this is to help better understand your characters and what you should be looking to do when you have these characters holy crap uh new chat system style to make the chat system easier to use during gameplay the chat box will be displayed at a half screen height after the version 1.1 update. Let's go. And then controller mode interaction optimizations. Added a new camera adjustment setting to the controller mode. You can now invert the horizontal. Okay, so inverted controls for the map. Okay. I mean, I don't play on invert. It is what it is to me. I that, I know that people play on invert, so that's good for you guys. Uh, change the controller mode sh uh, shortcut key. Open chat is now open map. Thank you. Christ almighty, that's a good change for me because like it's tough because for me, I would have to switch between my controller and my keyboard and mouse uh, just so I could press M to get my map. This is awesome. Uh, enabled key remapping for certain buttons on Sony PlayStation controllers, making it consistent with the remapping options available on for Xbox controllers. That's good. This update is huge. 1.1 is such a step in the right direction. I think after the stuff that happened with Weathering Waves before, um, I think that it's abundantly clear that they truly do care about what is going on with, you know, Weathering Waves and that they care about the feedback that they get. So this is why surveys are important. Do your surveys, tell them what you really feel because honestly, Kuro Games continues to show that they'd rather listen to their audience then be about the money and they still make a lot of money <laughs> so anyways y'all what do you think about the version 1.1 update let me know in the comments down below don't forget to like comment subscribe check out gamer subs and of course we will see you all in the next weathering waves video please take care and be safe